Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, part two of my fan sales order. Um, if you watched the first one, you'd have seen the little bits that I received with this. Um, and because I really wanted to concentrate and have a really good look at this custom, because it's the first custom I've ordered from fan sales, I'm doing this on a separate video. Um, the other items are in the previous video. This is part two. So, if you've been and seen it before, thanks for coming back and having a look. So let's get into this and have a look. I do apologise. I have got a burn on my hand and as it's not Halloween, I thought we'd better cover it over. I don't want to see anything that's a bit squidgy at this time of year. If it had been Halloween, I'd have been all right, wouldn't I? I'd have been able to get away with it. So it's come in a nice sturdy box, which hasn't got crushed in any way, shape or form. That's a really good box. Uh, it's just a generic one. We've got, oh, <laughs> instructions in um, possibly Chinese, Japanese, not sure. Unfortunately, I can't read that, but it is a nice box. And, uh, yep, yeah, made in China, it says on that little sticker. And it does say diamond painting. Okay, so let's have a look at this one. It's poured glue, people. Poured glue. But we will double check, because I know I've had ones with clear covers before. Uh, I got three customs if you remember and they were the decided tip so we will double check this one okay oh wow oh wow look at this oh let me turn it the right way around oh it's packed up as well yay okay so this oops just pop them on one side is Maisie who is my Rainbow Bridge Scotty and we lost her just before well about four months before we uh, got Millie um, after we lost Maisie our little Maisie Daisy we decided we were never going to have another dog we just couldn't cope with having another dog um, and then four months later we got Millie uh, I think that's quite often the case with dog lovers <laughs> But look at this, this is my custom. And that was my photograph that I took. Um, Maisie has a Halloween collar on. And then I've just decorated it with Halloween decorations, pumpkins and spider webs and things like that um, before I actually sent it off. And it is a square. It's supposed to be 40 by 40. So let, ah, before, let's have a look. But before I do that, I am just going to check this isn't double sided tape nope this is a poured glue custom painting and that is fantastic i am so happy with this let's just uh, try and get some, the creases that are in this look i'm doing my usual making it worse <laughs> making it worse oh gosh trying to straighten it out and making it worse i'll tell you what I'll do that off camera. I'll put a picture of the original picture down um, in between the video. Right, so we were going to measure it, weren't we? Oh, I'm just so excited about this. My brain's gone to mush. It's always hit and miss, I think, when you order um, a custom from a new company. Well, I've shopped with fan cells quite a bit Um particularly in the last year but uh, yeah when you're ordering a custom for the first time from a company because you, you don't really know what you're going to get but I think you can see this is showing up really really well and it is yeah exactly 40 centimeters 15 and three quarter inches that way by 40 centimeters 15 and three quarter inch so it is a poured glue true 40 by 40 yay well done fan cells i love this we've got 31 colors and they are all yeah we've got one is one down to seven so yeah they've ticked that box look they've put the numbers next to the number i hate it when you get like a one is three uh, and a number six is a number seven because my brain just can't cut up with those they all look nice easy um alphabet letters and there's just a couple of symbols at the bottom. So yeah, well impressed with that. That drill field is so, sorry about the glare, but you can see that. 
look at the white there's no training circles on it no guide circles but that is just so clear this is going to be wonderful to do i'm so pleased i've got it for drills and chills i did kit my other one up yesterday um and i haven't put a drill on it yet i have to say because i did think i wanted my little scotty to do it is one of my favorite pictures of millie because she she loved getting dressed up um, if you got her t-shirts or her jumpers out of her box she used to come running up and want to put them on because she liked the fuss that she got when she had them on um, so sitting her with her little wreath on uh, a neck wreath for uh, Halloween and um, then yeah she loved that she's got Christmas outfits and all sorts but complete opposite to Millie Millie absolutely hates getting dressed up that's our current little Scotty she's four now um, and she doesn't even like having a collar on. I've put a poppy, um, a, a remembrance poppy on her collar and she's just constantly trying to bite it off. She, you know, she really does not like getting dressed up. Chalk and cheese with regards to dressing up. Um, so yeah, different, but this is lovely. Can't wait to get this one done. Um, it's a very basic toolkit just with one of the new, uh, is that three place, four place there? Oh, my little thing's dropped off my desk. Never mind. I think that's a four. Um, so it is one of the thinner ones, one of the new ones. But uh, yeah, just a, a basic toolkit there. But to be honest, I think I paid less than £20 for this. Um, and for 40 by 40 poured glue, I'm impressed. And then it has all come in bags. It is a round that I've got, I think. Did I get it in round? Sorry, my eyesight's rubbish. <laughs> yeah, I've got it in round look. So we've got all your autumnal colours there. And let's just have a look at that. So I will take these out because I am going to pick this one up. Um, and I may work from the bag with it only being 30. Just have a look at that dark colour at the back. Is this a 310? Do we have 310? Yes, we have 310. So this is a big bag of three tens. So quite often when you're doing um, Scotties particularly, you don't get the black, but actually I think this is more for the edges, the number four. Uh, no, it is, the. Yeah. There is quite a bit of three ten on this one, but uh, let's just tip some of these out and have a look at the drill, see what quality we get, because you can get knobbly bits and misshapen rounds um, and funny shapes so let's just have a quick look here okay these are shaking this little tree get them lined up a bit yeah they're looking pretty good they are looking pretty good there yeah okay so that's those Oh wow, I'm just going to start this today, I do believe. Um, is it the largest custom I've done? Yes, this is the largest custom I've done so far. I have got another 40 by 40 of Millie to do, um, which I will be I'll putting that in there, look. <laughs> put that back in there, which I will be uh, kitting up and getting done. I'll just put those in there for now look at some of these colours so we've got a lovely oh nice big numbers as well that's good and 26 27 31 let's put these in order then 28 29 they're not quite in order in the bag unless i've taken them out that's like a brownie burgundy colour but these are going to be lovely for the pumpkins and things okay 31 let's just flip these over 21 is pink, 22 is another pink, so we've got our tongue but I'm not sure where the other pinks will go, possibly on the, this is our old three piece suite that we've got, we had, uh, we had to get a new one with um, Hubby, and 24 is a nice peachy colour there, 25 is like a pearly peach colour, okay then we're back onto different numbers again, so 15 is a very pearl pink, 16 is like a russet, 17 is like a pumpkin colour, 18 is a very dark brown, 18 is a 
938. It's not 939, so it's one less than that one. And number 90. Look at all these oranges and things. 20. Okay. So that's those. Then we've got another orange. 11. A lemon. 12. Pink. 13. And another brownie colour. 14. Okay, it's one way of checking I've got all my drills, isn't it? <laughs> okay. And then seven's like a, what's that, like a caramac colour. Eight is like a sort of a grey brownie colour. Uh, nine, oh, ten. Look at that lovely deep purple. That's a definite uh, Halloween colour, that one. Okay, so seven, eight, nine, ten are there. Keep all these colours and then we're on to one. It's like a rose pink. Two is a baby pink. Three is your like mid-brown, chestnut brown. And, oh, four. Look, well, we've got two bags of number four. Look. Two bags of three tens. Okay. And then we've got number five, which is like a grey blue. And number six, which is another purple. Okay, right, so that's all those in all. Right, I'm going to do one of my instant kitting ups. I've got my, my little grey squidgy plastic tray. This is from the range here in the UK. Sorry about the squeaking chair. So all I need to do is put these in order into here. Okay, and those there, and then what I'll do is just put a block or something at the back there, just to keep that standing. Possibly, I might use, um, I've got a huge bag of spare three tens, I may use that just to keep that in there. So they're all done. What I will then do is photocopy this little um, key code down the side, and I'll then put them through my Xyron sticker maker so that they're like little stickers and they little Xyron and I will put them onto my bags so I've got my numbers my symbols and my DMC codes on my bags as well so that I'll know which kit that belongs to and then the only other thing to do is to cover this over with some nice cover papers let me just find my cover papers so this is one of this squeaky chair I keep thinking of making real noises. Uh, these are my cover sheets and all it is is a case that I got um, it was a cheaper case and um, it hasn't got the closing I uh, think um, hooks on it the fasteners for whatever reason it hasn't got those bits on it those have been missed off um, and all the little containers inside it just kept popping open all the time and I've just got really really fed up of trying to use it so I've repurposed it and it's now just got my cover sheets in it just fits my little cover sheets in perfectly so it was a great job that one okay so I don't like throwing anything away um, so let's just take this horrible crinkly plastic off so bye for now Maisie Daisy and let's just take this off. Now, if you do take this plastic off, do remember which side was down on the canvas and which side wasn't. Put a sticker or something on the front because once you've taken this off, if you put it down the wrong way up, then it will stick to your canvas and you will have a heck of a job getting it off. And once it's stuck, it really is stuck. It can take all your glue off your canvas as well. It's funny because you would think, well, it's just the same both sides, but they aren't. There is a right and a wrong side when you get this crinkly plastic. And this has gone all static, so I am going to get that well out of the way. I do not want it anywhere near my canvas. And I'm just going to mark this off with these because it's poured glue. I don't have to worry about any sticky edge around the edge particularly. So I'm just going to place these roughly. And then as I do each section, I will just line them up so that each one 
as you can see now that one's covering over that but that's okay some days i might want to do a little bit bigger section some days a little bit smaller let's see does it go three oops not very straight liz so this is just roughly to get it all oops completely covered over not doing that very well am i this is 906 tip on how not to dab <laughs> okay just get this covered up as quickly as possible we do tend to have quite a few flying milli hairs around she doesn't really molt very much scottish terriers don't really molt as such but um you can get uh, hairs on your clothes and things like that and they will then tend uh, to get onto canvas so quite often my scotty dogs do have authentic scotty dog hairs in them which is sorry if that's grossing you out <laughs> let's just put these this way around yeah you always seem to end up with just that little bit that's just a funny shape i always start off with that one we'll get that one out of the way so if it's a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller then it's done okay so that is my custom ready to go just pop those back on my shelf so i am kitted up with all my drills and my canvas is ready and i will take this downstairs actually i may put it under something heavy over now much as i want to start this straight away i do think it needs to just relax a little bit and uh, just flatten out a little bit so i put it under something heavy and um, i'll get my drills uh, all numbered up and then we're ready to go okay well i hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing this one and um, if you have if you press that like button if you want to follow me on Instagram and Facebook, I will be putting my updates um, for my drills and chills, Scotty Dog, uh, my little Maisie Daisy. And if you want to see them back here on YouTube and see my progress and when I get this finished and see what I think to this custom from Fan Cells when I've finished it, then if you press subscribe and the little bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next videos come up. But that's me done for now, so thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.